All right, Robert Eagleson here with the uh, Calgary Hook and Hackle Club, and uh, today we're doing the Aftershaft Hare's Ear Volume 2, much the same as Volume 1, except I'm using the buyout tail and the buyout wing, and I've got a little flash on the back there. So, just to refresh everyone's memory about what the Aftershaft feather is, this is a uh, typical pheasant, pheasant rump feather, and attached to that is going to be the aftershaft feather, and this is the, the feather here that we're going to be we're going to be using. So, all right, I'm just going to slip that out. I'm going to slip in a size 10 2XL natural bend. So this is like a, a hopper style hook. And I'm going to take some um, 0 0.025 lead wire and I'm going to take about 11-12 wraps here. Pinch that off. Try to get that nice and tight on the back end. And I've got some 70 denier tan thread. And I'm just going to build a bit of a dam at the front. Go to the back, build a bit of a dam at the back. Over that lead, make sure it's down solid, not going to move around on me. Clip my excess. For the tail, I am using um, Goose Biots, so you'll just take a couple of those, clip them off. Now I have seen lots and lots of tires put these on two at a time. I tend to have better luck tying them on one at a time, so I'll Take this one that's going to be on the back side of the hook and I want to position that so that I'm putting it on the top of the, of the shank and as I wrap around I'm letting my thread torque take that around to the other side and I've got that going exactly the wrong way so you want to make sure that the natural curve is going out away from the shank like that. <coughs> now, I just want to uh, try to find my second one here. And I'll tie this one on the near side of the hook. And about the same distance. And we will just clip off the excess. For rib, I'm using gold wire in a size brassy. So I'm going to tie that on right behind my lead there. And I'm going to bring it down to the start of the tail, which is about between the point and the barb of the hook. I need a little bit of a flashback, so I am using, uh, this is Uni Mylar size 10, uh, it's about a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm just going to tie that on top. again and I'm going to use a hare's ear dub and I'm going to dub a thorax up about two-thirds of the hook shank. So if you've ever dubbed with hare's ear you'll know it's not the easiest stuff to use. It's pretty coarse and I think it's the coarseness that makes it fishy. It's got lots of movement in it, so we're going to dub a uh, tapered thorax up. Over 
over that lead. And I need just a touch more dub here. So about the two-thirds point, maybe just a, just a hair more here. There we go. That should be lots. Alright, let's put a half hitch in there. And we'll, nope, let's bring our... Uh, Um, flashback over top, tie that down, and we're just going to clip the excess. And now we'll put a half hitch in there. And you can either, I think with the, with the flashback there, you're okay to rib this the uh, the normal way there. Make sure that flashback stays on top. Space out those ribs in even spaces. Bring it up about two-thirds of the way. I'm just gonna tie this off. And then we're just going to helicopter that off. And now we're going to move up to the front and we're going to do our wing. So for my uh, wing, I'm using, uh, again, Goose Biots. This is more of a um, gold color. So I'm going to clip off a couple of these gold goose biots. So I'm going to tie one here. And we'll tie one coming out the other direction here, about the same length. See, so these are going to fold back. All right, so let's just clip the excess here. And we'll give that a half hitch and then we're going to come back to about the three quarter the two th one third mark here we're going to do a bit of a dubbing loop Hitch. Okay, so we've got my double loop here. I'm just going to take a uh, shepherd hook. I will catch that dubbing loop. I will open that dubbing loop up. I'm going to take some dubbing wax. And I'm going to just put a little dubbing wax on one side of that strand. I will see if I can find that pheasant rump tail. I will pull the uh, aftershaft feather off. I'm just going to clip the uh, butt end of that off. And then I'm going to put it in the dubbing loop just like that so I want 
to make sure that feather is the shaft of that feather is right on the dubbing loop as close as I can get it. Then I'm going to pinch the, just below that feather. I'm going to spin the thread on my shepherd hook. Spinning, 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 and when you think you've got enough, spin a little bit more. Okay, so let go of the thread, keep spinning, and it should make a nice dubbing loop with that aftershaft feather in there. Alright, so I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to spin this on. Try to keep as much of that back if I can. So spun that up to the front, bring my thread over, tie it off. Clip the excess. Find my whip finisher and I'll give that a whip finish. Clip my excess. And there we have it the uh, Aftershaft Hair's Ear Volume 2. So it's got the uh, by a tail, by a wings, and lots and lots of movement with this aftershaft feather. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. <laughs>